House is Bidenomics digging America's economic grave? That's the subject of the riff. So the average voter watching the upcoming CNN presidential debate probably won't recognize the term modern monetary theory. But if Mr. Trump refers to unlimited federal spending, borrowing, money printing, inflating, taxing or regulating, well then, the average viewer will have an aha moment. I recognize that. It's called Bidenomics. Art Laffer and Steve Moore will be here in just a moment. Write about it in the Wall Street Journal today. And the journal editorial page talks about tax Armageddon. Newt Gingrich refers to so-called modern monetary theory as big government socialism. Spot on, Newt. Some common sense principles contradicting Joe Biden is you can't tax your way into prosperity, nor can you inflate into prosperity, nor can you devalue your currency into prosperity. That's just a few thoughts that any middle-class voter can identify with. Mr. Biden may never admit it, but the journal is right. Should the Democrats regain the White House and Congress, they'll hold middle-class tax cuts hostage to a huge overall tax hike. Left-wing luminaries like Senator Elizabeth Warren and Ron Wyden, they're in favor of imposing a wealth tax on anybody making 50 to 100 million bucks. They and many other Democrats would be perfectly happy with an unrealized capital gains tax. Unfortunately, last week's Supreme Court decision leaves the door open to that wealth confiscating idea. And as we have noted, the latest Congressional Budget Office baseline scorecard now shows $2 trillion deficits, as far as the eye can see, leading to a $51 trillion federal debt by the end of the next decade. A tidy borrowing sum, and that would get you to 122% of GDP. In peacetime, no less, without any emergency, even nearly full employment. John Maynard Keynes should be turning over in his grave. Milton Friedman has already spoken to me from his grave. Even Shakespeare's Alas, Poor York grave digger should have worried the more Bidenomics would dig an even larger grave for the entire American economy. Just saying. And that's my riff.